And sadly, this very warning of the apostles came to pass. It so happened that after the time of the apostles, that there came to be a different teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ. When did this teaching that Jesus Christ is God become an official doctrine? We're going to read from an excerpt from a book entitled Discourses on the Apostles' Creed, written by the Reverend Clement H. Crock on page 206. Thus, for example, it was not until 325 A.D. at the Council of Nicaea that the church defined for us that it was an article of faith that Jesus is truly God. You notice that? It was in 325 A.D. at the Council of Nicaea that it was decided, the council decided that Jesus Christ is God. Notice that the apostles had nothing to do with this teaching, nor was it recorded in the Bible. Christ has nothing to do with it. It was only decided upon by a council convened by the Catholic Church in the 4th century. Now, should we believe in a council who taught something that directly opposes what Christ taught about himself, what his apostles taught, what the Bible teaches? Well, we don't know about you, but we feel definitely confident in sticking with what's written in the Bible. The clear teaching of the Bible is that Jesus Christ is a man in nature or state of being and not the true God. Now, in the future episodes, we will go deeper into how this doctrine evolved. And you will be surprised not only at the length of time that it took for people to formulate this doctrine, but also the drama that transpired. 